Hey guys, what is up? I'm just going to do Twine Endurance. Uh, I'm gonna do this, this is our new ridge build. Oh, this is my new ridge build that I've been working with. So, what 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 is the um, pathing of the house going to do? So, they're going to walk up this way and walk down this way and they go up one tile and go straight. That's what the normal pathing of the, that's what all the houses are going to do. So, what, what we're going to do to do that, we're going to have the block off. So, we're going to have basically like the Kirby build. Uh, so, the floor tiles. Like this. So we're gonna get the lava bombs over here. That's what we're gonna do. Get all the lava bombs over here. So we can put also floor tiles in here. Besides right here. To get all the hus to path in here. So we're gonna put a wall. Right. So from this, well when you have this, uh, like this. You're gonna put a wall right here. In here. Put two right there. Put one right here. Make this into a pillar like this. Make this into a pillar like this. Put a wall right here. Surround these walls right here. Like that. Put a wall right here, and a wall right here, and a wall right here. Make sure this is the ramp as well. So they don't want to break this to get in here. Come back here and put a line all the way across here until you get over here. So you basically block it off where they don't want to go through the middle as well. So you're going to place a wall right here, and cones going all the way across here until you hit this right here. So you're going to make this into a full ramp, make these all into full ramps, and then surround them. Make sure this wall is in between them all like this. Come behind this and fill this in like this. Make sure this is a ramp as well. So we're going to come back here and place a wall right here, here, and here. Wait, no, I didn't have it like that. I don't think I did. Uh, that, that, I think it's actually what I had right here. Um, so what I did is, from right here, we put a ramp right here, put a wall behind it and a wall right here, put a half wall right here, and then we went out one, two, three, four units, put out two, two floor tiles over here and surround that as well, put a wall with a window in it, and basically fill up the ceiling tiles. And then go over top of this with flats as well make sure you go one unit out over it because the electric field is going to shoot half of a tile as well we're going to put a floor right there that's where your base will go and then you're going to put walls all the way across here so next will be uh, the block off up here so we're going to put a floor tile here floor tile there there and there and then go over here and put a cone over top of this put a cone right there make sure this is towards the northwest and surround that Put a wall here, and then make all the cones facing towards the southwest from over here as well. Make one right here, southwest. There you go. That's the that's the block off for this side over here. If I'm not to want to go here, so you can put a wall right here down here. Put a wall or a cone and make face that way towards the what north. And put two cones right here, one facing towards the northwest and one facing towards the north. So over here, I put a. Actually, I put a wall right here and a wall right here and a cone. Probably they don't want to go this way as well. So that should be all the block up you need to get for them not to go that way as well. So we're going to come over here to the other side and, and we're going to put two flats, two cones. Edit this one towards the northwest and this one towards the northeast. And put a wall, two flats, two cones, northwest, northeast. And then surround those up here. And put cones going around behind it. This one going towards the south southwest, yeah. Uh, northwest, straight north, straight north, northeast, and then north or southeast, and then surround those with walls as well. You can come up here and put walls as well, and then two floors and two cones. That's all the block I'm going to need for them not to go up here. Make sure you have walls over here, where flingers tend to not go around and throw. So we're going to come over here towards the amp again. And we're going to fill in these floor tiles, or these roof pieces right here. And put two walls right there as well. So this is where the, this is where the husks are going to be attacking. So we're going to put a walls around that. Uh, edit a wall like this over here. And one right here as well. That is for the husks don't actually walk out of here and get to this automatically. 
and then you're gonna put a floor and a wall on the floor where the lobbers don't want to actually throw at it. So that, and then we're gonna come up here. We're gonna put a cone, making make sure it faces towards the northwest. Put a ramp right here, and then go out one two, and then go out one two over there as well. This is for the tire drops in here, just in case they actually do want to walk in here. This is for the tire drops will kill them. You'll see why in a bit. So now we're going to start with the traps. So the hosts are going to come up here and walk this way. So this is like a cheating thing for they don't actually edit the wrong way. So it goes over here. So they get hit by the sound wall and the wall launcher. So the propanes won't actually do anything. So we're going to start with the wall launchers. We're gonna start with, uh, I don't have them on me. Let me craft some. So they're gonna be durability, reload to uh, impact, reload, impact, durability. We're gonna put one right here. Come around here, put one right here. You're not gonna put one there. You don't need one here, I'll, sh I'll tell you why. Come up here, put one right here and here. That's all the wall entries you need. You can also put a floor right or a wall right here and make it a half wall as well. That's completely up to you. So this wall is going to be a sound wall, so it's going to be durability, reload, durability, reload, durability, increase building health. One right here, and then one right here. Oh, I'll put that in the wrong spot. It goes right here. My bad. And then next will be a wall dart. So uh, damage, reload, crit rating, dam or crit damage, durability. One right here. Turn, come over here and put a. I think I had a wall. Yeah, I had this in here with a wall dart in it with a window right here. And I had a wall dart here. So next would be a broadside. So crit rating, reload speed, damage, crit damage, durability. One right here. And then the other thing will be uh, a wall dynamo. So it would be crit rating, da uh, crit damage, crit rating, crit damage, healing attached. Yeah, that's what I used. Use that one here. And this 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 is for just in case the husks start to bash on this wall, because they can they will they will actually face this and start bas bashing through this, or this or that. So, uh, out down here you're gonna put those down here as well, the healing attached ones down here. So right here I would I put a flame girl. So crit reading, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. One right here. This floor tile is going to be a wooden floor spike. So crit reading, crit damage, crit reading, damage, increased building health. So one right here, here, and here. This right here is going to be a floor freeze trap. So d durability, reload durability, uh, reload durability, effect duration. So the last one's effect duration. So you're going to come up here and then do the do freeze up here as well. Put another wooden floor spike right here. Two right here. And this one's going to be a tar pit with all durability on it. So we're going to use the crit rating, reload, crit damage, or damage, crit damage, increased building health. Wall dynamo is one right here and one right here. And we're going to put one right here and here. On these two back walls, we're going to put broadside. So crit rating, reload, damage, crit damage, durability. One right here and here. And the wall darts on these two walls. So damage, reload, crit rating, crit damage, durability. One right here and one right here. The ceiling tile is going to be ceiling ledger field. Or most of these all are going to be ceiling ledger fields in here. And right here as well. Uh, so they're going to be crit rating, crit damage, damage, crit damage, durability. So one right here, 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 and here. Basically going to fill up this whole ceiling inside of here. With them. So in every piece of these corners, they can... Uh, that will hit this one right here, or a husk that land here. That one will hit this husk right here. Anything that will come right here will hit, get hit by this, or like a little bit over. Uh, same with like if they walk up to the middle, they get hit by these all. So, so we're going to come up here, and we're going to put gas traps over here. So damage reload, crit rating, crit damage healing attached. So one, two. Now these are going to be uh, two electric fields right there. And the other two are going to be ceiling zappers. So crit rating, reload, crit rating, crit damage. Uh, actually, no. Double crit rating, double crit damage, uh, durability. And two right there. And they're going to be wall darts uh, surrounding this. So one, two, three. One, two. 
Like that. <clears throat> Sorry, my bad. So we're gonna come down here. And these uh four roof tiles are gonna be tire drop traps. So it's gonna be crit rating, crit damage, damage, reload, durability. So one right here, 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 and here. That's all you need for that. And then all the rest are gonna be wall darts. Just like that. So any husks that try to come down here and break anything or go through the middle, they will die quickly and surely. So we're gonna come over here to under here, we're gonna put the healing attached gas traps. So damage reload, crit rating, crit damage, healing attached. One right here and here. We're gonna come over here to these walls. This is just case the flingers. We're gonna put the three impacts, two reload, one durability. Or one, two, three. Uh, and I think that is all for this. This is, I think Smash is the only thing that gets by really in this tunnel. Or there tends to be, um, us that get under here and hit. But if you have power base, or any power base with mega base and machine this put it here and they shouldn't actually break through. But if they do face through, like I had one Smasher face through it, like fully through it and was whacking on this. So I put a, um, put a wall dynamo here and then I put a ceiling electric field there or a ceiling zapper here. And that really solved the issue. I put a, uh, I tend to put a ceiling electric field here too. So they could, uh, this would hit them in here as well. So that, that's, that's my new ridge that we create up with. I, I will link the guy's Twitch that, uh, helped me out a little bit. Well, he didn't really help me out that much, but, uh, he did the name design, but the amp design didn't work the way that he said it was going to work. So I still link him, give him a little bit of credit for it, you know. Um, this is the build. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching. And stay nature.